Hi, welcome back. In today's episode, Vinod is going to answer Saloni's most important and burning question. What are the career options after MD Pharma? So, this is what Vinod explains to Saloni. Let's talk about non-industry options first. Teaching is the most commonly known career option. Depending on the type of college and research interest of the person, this option also gives opportunity to do some academic research. In addition, some people also practice in clinics in the evening, most commonly seen in South India and West Bengal, etc. An option that is also gaining popularity slowly is clinical pharmacologist in hospital setting. This option is available in big NABH accredited hospitals like Apollo, SRMC, Peerless, etc. Core academic research is a very satisfying career option as well. This can be done either in India or abroad. In India, this opportunity is available in premier research hospitals like Tata Memorial, KEM, PGI, etc. For those who want to pursue this option abroad, opting for MS or PhD, if you're lucky, as a postdoc can be a good next step. Saloni says, "Looks good, you know, but uh, wait." I heard there is a DM clinical pharmacology also as a super specialization where does that fit well you know says of course DM clin farm is a great option for those who are passionate about core academic research so some people go for DM after MD they will have a good scope in either teaching hospitals or research hospitals By the way, if you want to know more about these roles, best is to talk to someone who's actually doing these roles. In the description box below, I'm giving you some connections to some LinkedIn profiles. So go ahead and message them directly. I'm sure they will be happy to help. So next, Vinod continues. So here comes yet another popular question, industry career options. Among industry options, first one is pharmaceutical industry including CROs that is contract research organizations this includes different fields of work such as medical affairs pharmacovigilance clinical research clinical operations medical writing medical information etc there are many more interesting fields in pharma industry but these are the fields that an md pharma graduate can target for getting entry into the industry Other option is to become an entrepreneur within the scope of pharma and life sciences industry. This means you will start your own company and deal with customers and clients that are in pharma industry which we just went through a few seconds back. Some people have flair for business aspects of pharma industry. They may choose to go for MBA either in India or abroad, specialize in marketing, business or entrepreneurship. Once they finish their MBA they will join pharma industry in marketing and business fields or start their own company but saloni wonders mr vinod what about dm clinical pharmacology can they join industry after dm vinod explains of course they can but there are no roles in pharma industry which are specific for dm they will start most probably in same roles that an md pharma joins and depending on their performance their career growth may be faster but of course there are always exceptions again look for some linkedin connections below and message them directly to know more about these things now saloni starts scratching her head and says you know you use so many jargons and i'm a bit lost What do these different fields mean in pharma industry? Vinod says, "Chill, let me explain. Let's talk about clinical research first. This field involves activities that cover clinical trials to develop new drugs. Clinical operations and medical writing also support these clinical trials. Here are some companies in India that offer these jobs. Then pharmacovigilance. There are more PV jobs in India than clinical research for MDs. This involves studying side effects and safety of drugs. Again, here are some companies in India that offer these jobs. Finally, medical affairs. 
this field has maximum number of jobs for MDs in India and is the most popular field for MD Pharmax. In this field, the drug is already developed and ready to be launched or even launched already and made available to patients and physicians. Here, our role is to ensure that the clinicians have right information to make best use of the drug and engage these physicians in clinical trials to generate more clinical evidence and data. Key opinion leaders who are big clinicians or experienced clin clinicians are our best friends and partners in making this happen. Don't forget to see the LinkedIn connections below. Well, Saloni, sorry that was more than a minute, but I hope that was useful. Saloni seems relieved, but she now has another burning question. You know, what will be salaries for these jobs like? <laughs> of course, money is important, so stay tuned. We will talk about it in our next video. Bye-bye.